Hey there, it's Ed from BirthdaySuitBlueprint.com and today I want to share with you my mass building chest workout. So we're going to hit chest first and then move on to triceps. So we're going for three compound movements and two isolation movements all together for this workout. So starting off with flat chest press, which I think is the best all round chest builder. So this is something you can really overload the chest on and get heavy. So notice how my arch is, my back is really arched, my chest is flared up my shoulder blades are tucked back together. I'm coming with my elbows just below shoulder and then pressing my arms up without fully locking them. That way, all the tension stays on the chest and doesn't move onto the shoulders or triceps. And I'm coming down really nice and slowly on my last rep to really overload that chest. And also notice that my last rep was a struggle, but it was doable, okay? So that's something to bear in mind. I'll show you again on this set here. You wanna make sure you can get that last rep. It wants to be tough, but you wanna be sure that you can get it to the top. You don't really wanna be having to get somebody to lift the bar off you. If you do, you're going really a bit too hard and you're over the topping it. You're sort of going past failure and that's gonna really wear your nervous system out quickly. So again here, my shoulder blades are really waddled back. They're squashed together and I've got a really big arch in my back. Um, and notice how my posture is. So my rib cage is sticking out. This way it's, the tension is all across my upper chest. And again, my shoulders and my triceps aren't taking over. So that's both of my compound chest movements done. We're now moving on to tricep dips for my compound, uh, compound tricep movement. So with these, again, my shoulders are going slightly lower than elbow. That's because my flexibility allows it. If yours feels too tight, then, then don't push it. Um, also, another thing to bear in mind here is keeping your elbows over the top of your wrists. You see a lot of people flaring the elbows out. You don't want to do this. You want to keep them tucked in to keep that strain on the tricep. See how much I'm struggling there. Again, it's tough, but it's doable. I can make that last rep. And then we're moving on to cable flies for chest. So in my opinion, this is the best thing to work the inside of your chest to really get the striations in the middle of your pecs. Um, this is such a better exercise than doing dumbbell flies. Dumbbell flies are really bad news for your shoulders. This is much safer and puts much more of a load onto your chest. So we're moving sort of onto the bodybuilding phase of the period of the workout now. We've done the strength part but with the compound moves. Now we're moving on to isolation to really pump that muscle up and really wear out the fibers, the last ones that are standing. And okay, the last movement here on triceps, we're going for dumbbell skull crushers. So these I think are so much better than skull crushers with a bar because they allow you to use your hands independently. And when you're at the bottom of the movement there, you wanna really pull the dumbbell into your shoulder and get a full stretch. You can't really do that so well with a bar. So that's another reason these are better. These really overload the triceps. They're such a good movement. Make sure you're doing these paired up with dips in your tricep workouts. Amazing. So that, my friend, is my chest and tricep workout. Give that a try. That is really as simple as it needs to be. Three compound movements, two isolation movements. You will be sore the next day. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I will speak to you again really soon.